Hello and welcome back to Love Advice TV. My name is Coach Adrian and I am a breakup and relationship coach. I've dedicated my life helping people coming out of breakup, separation and divorces to try to find their peace and their happiness. And this is what I like to do in these videos, to provide guidance and advice and tools and techniques to be able to heal and move forward with your life or sometimes to move on. And this is the topic of our video. The topic of this video is how to move on after a breakup. A lot of my clients call me and I tell them to move on. I tell them to move on because it becomes quite clear to me that the person that they are calling me about cannot make them happy. They can't make them happy because this person is dealing with their own set of issues. Sometimes it's existential issues, sometimes it's addiction issues, sometimes it's because they have personality disorders, and other times it's because it was just a toxic relationship, one that was abusive emotionally or physically. And when that is the case, I tell my clients to move on. It's painful, that's not what you want to hear, but I tell you the truth, because you deserve it. Because I would want you to tell, or, or someone to tell me the truth, if I was in a relationship that was not helping me. And so how does one move on from a breakup? There are many, many, many ways to move on. And quite often, it can take a little bit of time because there was a lot of passion, a lot of love, and the grieving stage of the breakup is just beginning, perhaps. So you have to give yourself time. And you can't be too hard on yourself. Because ultimately, it can happen to all of us. I've seen multi-millionaires, CEOs, strong women, um, people that are very, very successful in different areas of their lives completely crumble after a separation or a divorce. And it can happen to anyone. That's what I want you to understand. You're not alone. Something is not wrong with you. And this is true of someone living in the United States but also in different parts of the world. I coach people all over Europe, in Singapore, in China, in Hong Kong, and it can happen to anyone. And that's what I want you to understand. Don't get caught, sucked into this negative bubble and feel like something is wrong with you, please, okay? And a lot of times healing and moving on from a breakup starts with basically rebuilding a sense of self-worth. And what I'd like for you to do is, number one, I want you to remember why you are unique. And I want you to make a list of all the quality attributes that you possess. And all the things that you do well, okay? All the quality attributes that you possess and all the things that you do well. So that we're gonna focus on the positive aspects of your life here. And I'm gonna ask you, every single day to either put yourself in a position where your quality attributes can shine or to do something that you truly enjoy because it, you're creating an environment where you can remind yourself constantly of the positive aspects of your life and to put yourself in situations where you can succeed and flourish. Number two, I want you to be social. I want you to surround yourself with the people that love you, the, the people that make you feel safe, okay? Especially right after a breakup, separation, or a divorce. It's very important to feel loved because you feel rejected. You feel not good enough. You feel underappreciated and undervalued. And it's those same people that you perhaps have neglected for some time because you were so consumed by your relationship, by your marriage, and by your breakup that you now need to go back and make amends to, okay? I'm talking family, perhaps friends, perhaps co-workers, old friends from your childhood. Reconnect with those people that love you because they're the ones that will support you through this period, okay? Number three you need to do something new. You need to create new patterns to put yourself in new environments. And quite honestly, it's the best way to move 
forward and to move on, to do things that will not remind you of the pain or of your former partner. And once you are able to put yourself into these new scenarios, new things and new amazing things will happen. You'll be able to meet new people, find new interests, and discover a side of yourself that you perhaps did not know much about. And that's the gist of how I help clients every week move on from breakups. Of course, it gets a lot more intricate and everyone is unique and every breakup is unique, every divorce separation is unique and so I provide unique custom tools for each and every single person that reaches out to me. But if you can't afford to do so, at least you have a place to start. And I want you to know that you are worthy of being loved and that you will love again and that better things are to come. And quite often, it's after painful breakups that you're able to flourish and to discover someone that will enable you to achieve your purpose and to live a meaningful life. So I know you're in pain, I know it is hard, and that's why we do what we do. Um, I wish I did not have to do these videos, but it's important because you need the support too. Even if you've chosen, especially if, you're cho if you've chosen not to get back with the one you love because you know it's not to your best, in your best interest. You are so strong, you are so amazing, because a lot of people are in denial too. And we have to burst their bubble and tell them it's not gonna happen for them and it's not in their best interest. So pat yourself on the back, leave me a comment and tell me that you've chosen to move on and why. And I'll give you so much love back because you deserve it and because you are strong. So fight the good fights. Don't be afraid to put yourself back out there when you are ready. And um, come back and tell me a few months down the road when you're happier than you've ever been. Tell me that it was a good decision, that it was the right decision for you. I send you lots of love from Miami, Florida, and can't wait to do more of these videos for you. Keep fighting the good fight, my friends. Bye-bye.